the nature of the material has such a strong physical uh, characteristic to it, its heat, its weight, the way it moves, its viscosity. You know, you're working with nature, you're working with lava. When you feel the material and its amount of resistance, how far it can go be before it tears or how cold it can get before it breaks, you know, you just build that dialogue with it. The thing is, is that the uh, underlying path of communication is open all the time. We're just not very good at using it. Over. Okay, slow please, Roman. What people tend to do is they tend to sculpt very stiff and square, and that's fine. You can do that in glass, but the wonderful thing you can go ahead and do, since it's still viscous and moving, is that you can move it, you can twist it, you can, you know, t tilt the head up and turn it, and you know, pull it here and here and give it some expression, and and that's the advantage of working in this material. So use it. Cover. Nice. That's what I wanted. Uh, unless you want something very stoic and statue-like, which the material has as well. I mean, it's, it can be as stone-like as stone because of that, you know, you can feel that heaviness in it.